Hello everybody, welcome to DirectX 11 tutorial 23. In this tutorial we are just going to create an index buffer class. In the last tutorial we had created this vertex buffer template, but now we need to create an index buffer class. So let's create a new header and we are going to call this index buffer. Now let's go up to show all files. We are going to move the index buffer header up to our graphics folder and uncheck show all files. So for our index buffer, it's going to look something like this, where it's really similar to our vertex buffer, except we don't store the type because the index buffer is always uh, D words. And you see we have our git, our git address up, we can get the buffer size uh, with the buffer size function. For initialize, we're just passing in a pointer to the device a pointer to the data and the number of indices and we're just creating the buffer and returning the H result. So it's, I don't want to go over every single line because it's just like how we did the vertex buffer in the last tutorial except it's for an index buffer. Let's go to our graphics header and let's implement this. So first we need to include index buffer. Let's go down to our indices buffer and I'm going to change this to index buffer. All right, and take that out. So let's go to our initialize scene. And down in our initialize scene, we want to move up. I'm going to move up where we were loading the vertex data, right under where we initialized that array. For our indices, we can take out. Let's see take out our description and all that, instead of calling device create buffer, we are just going to call indices buffer initialize. We're going to pass in the device pointer. We're going to pass in the data pointer, which is indices, and then the number of indices. So we do array size indices. Next, let's go to our render frame and where we are setting our index buffer, we can keep that because it's getting the pointer the exact same as the com pointer was before. But we're, where we are drawing our index, we can change this to be indices buffer dot uh, buffer size. And what this will do is, you know, if we ever go and change our indices and vertices buffers, uh, we don't have to go up and change the number that we are drawing up here. It will just automatically change it. So let's go ahead and test this out. All right, sick. So that is exactly what we wanted, just the same thing that we had previously. So that is all that we are going to cover for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we are going to get into constant buffers. And after we do that, we are finally going to make the template for constant buffers. And then we will get into matrices.